Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Fragile by Sting. So we're going to take care of all the, the main rhythm guitar parts. Um, if you guys want, I'll do the solo in another lesson as well. But since the solo is kind of long, it kind of deserves its own lesson. Uh, now the very beginning of the song, which I just skipped in that little intro, there's just a quick little... And all that's going on there is just the 5th fret on the B string. We're in standard tuning here. And then pulling off 7 to 5 on the high E. And then picking that 7 again. Then he does that again with the 5 on the B. And then the next time... It kind of does a few pull-offs. And ends on that 5th fret on the high E string. And then back to the... And then the last time is just... Just more of a pull off and then a quick hammer between five and seven. So that's just what's going on in the very intro and then the actual progression comes in that I just played which is also the verse. So let's go through this. We're gonna have this part. That's over the first chord. So what's going on there? We have the low E open and then the 12th fret on the D and the B together. Then the thumb's gonna pick the ninth fret here on the D string. So when it, you go 9, then 10, and then catch that same chord form, that 10th fret there on the B string with your middle finger. So we have this. Alright, now we're going to keep these chord forms here pretty consistent on the um, these second and I mean the B and the D string. So now it's the ninth fret on the D and then eighth fret on the B. Try this. You're just letting this low E ring out. And then back up to those two twelves. So that's over the low the first chord. Then we have this. that starts with the open A string now. Then you're going to pick the ninth on the D, 8 on the B together. Then you're going to pick across. You're going to grab the 7th fret on the D, 7th fret on the B, pick the open A, then that 7th on the D, and then that 7th on the B. So we have this. Kind of arpeggiates those. And then come down to the 5th fret. So we have this. Back to those eight and nine. So so far we have this. All right. Now to keep this the actual bass going with. So we have this. You're holding a bar at the seventh fret. And then you're going to play the 9th fret on the D, 8th on the B again. So you pick the 7th fret, the low E string, then those two notes on top. Then pick up those two notes and arpeggiate 7 on the low E, then D, and B. Then just shift down the first finger down to the instead of two sevens here on the D and the B. It's 5th fret, then 4th. Then you're going to come back to the low E and play the two sevens on the uh, D and the B together after after the open E. Then you're going to play the fifth fret here with your first finger across the for the to hold the uh, B and the D down. And you're going to pick across low E and then the D and the B string. And then end it there with the ninth fret on the D and the 8th fret on the B again. So we have from here.
Then it goes through those same chords again. Now a different ending. So we're just doing that's the two the low E with those two sevens up to the eight and nine. And it ends on the five this time. Instead of going, it goes. So it repeats that verse, just doing those two different endings each time. So it goes through it and plays the first ending and then the second ending, just keeps repeating it. The very last time you hear the verse before the chorus, though, he just does this. Just comes, gets that low E, and just brings up the five and just stays there. And then you have the chorus, and it sounds like this. And then we'll just repeat that again. So we basically just have this eighth fret now on the low E. You're gonna be barring that eighth fret. Hit the low E string, and then the tenth fret on the D and the B. Then you're gonna just basically lift up those two fingers, play the ninth fret on the D. You have the bar here, so you're just gonna pick the sixth, fourth, and second string. And then back to those two tenths. And then you could do this transition chord, go back to this chord, pick the notes, and then we're And then we're here, which is pretty similar to the uh, verse. We had these two, uh, the seventh fret here, ninth on the D, eighth on the B. Pick them together, and then pick across the sevens, like seven, seven on the D, seven on the B. And then back to the first two notes. All three notes together. So we have this. Then we have the two sevens. We're leaving this final B chord. Then we have the low E string. So that melody is just those, the eight and nine chord with the low E string, sevens, five, and back up. And just repeat that. So stay tuned, we'll just uh, take a look at the uh, guitar solo in the next lesson. I'll see you then.